welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming Jay, and today we're hopping into the world of skating and stunts in the PlayStation 1 game, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. And we're also going to be checking this game out on the N64. This game came out originally for the PS1, and then about a year later was ported to the N64. I mean, it was ported to many other things like Dreamcast and Windows and all sorts of stuff. Interestingly, there's a bit of a debate online about which version of this game is better. Now, I didn't know this, but the N64 actually has more processing power, more RAM, that kind of stuff, than the PS1. So, even though it lacked a CD-ROM drive... Um, oh yeah, and here, here's all the like old-school, early 2000s like, skating craze at its peak. We got even uh, Rage Against the Machine in the background. Oh yeah, man, getting into the groove for Tony Hawk. Um... But yes, the PS1 obviously had a CD drive, so you could listen to, uh, you know, CD music, you could store way bigger games, all that stuff. But you did have load times, which the N64 really didn't have because of cartridges. And the N64 was more powerful, ultimately, which uh, surprised me. Um, but, but, the N64 did apply a graphical filter to soften all the images and textures and so on. And because it didn't have as big storage capacity, oftentimes its textures were actually not as detailed as the PS1. So, which one is going to look and play better? It's debatable. It's debatable. So, uh, here's our here's our load screen, by the way. Is this typical in PS1 games? So, we're going to give both a shot, and we're just going to see. Just going to see if we can, like, even notice a difference between them. But chances are they're going to play very similar to one another. This game, by the way, also had a level editor, which is totally awesome. We're not really going to mess with that today. But uh, this game had a lot going on. Two-player mode. You can create a skater if you want to. You can go in and let's uh, let's just see what career mode is like. But uh, mainly this game is just sort of skating around, bursting through plate glass windows and doing stunts. So I think we're mo mainly just going to sort of free skate. But I'm just kind of curious. If you decide to become a career skater, what kind of advice does Tony Hawk have for you? So Tony Hawk was a big deal back in the day. There he is, the Birdman himself. I mean, he's still a big deal. I mean, the guy is the guy is a very impressive athlete. Um, the stunts and stuff that he does are quite impressive. Here are all the stats for Tony Hawk, by the way. Uh, his style is goofy, I guess. We can also be Bob Burnquist. Never heard of that guy, uh, but I'm sure he's a very nice fellow. We could also be Steve Cab Caballero. I'm sure these are all, like, famous skaters, famous pro skaters. Kareem Campbell. Look at all the stats they're giving you, though. I mean, actually, this is a bit overwhelming. Air, hang time, ollie, speed, spin, landing, switch, rail balance, lip balance, and manuals. Like, I'm sure all these guys have different balances of them, but... I mean, it's almost giving me too many parameters on which to try and choose someone. So, I think we're just gonna go... We're, we're basically just gonna be skating as good old Tony Hawk, if I can get back to him. Um, there he is. He's, he, the, the game is named after him. He can't be a bad choice, right? So we can even rotate him. If you're like, ah, oh, I wasn't sure about him, but now seeing that he has a standard backside makes me want to accept this guy. We can buy tricks, buy stats, or just continue. Style A or Style B? Oh, that's just his appearance. We'll go with Style A. I often ask myself this in the mornings, you know, like when I'm gr getting dressed, I'm like, is it a Style A or Style B day? And I pick uh, one of the only two outfits that I own based on my feeling about if it's an A or a B day. Um, all right, we have a, a school. Wait, what was the first choice? A hangar in Mullet Falls. Now that that is a, a backwater place if ever there was one. Um, we don't. We need a thousand dollars apparently to unlock the school. We need three thousand dollars to unlock France. And we need a medal to unlock New York City. New York City isn't in it for the money. Oh, that's cool. They have trains and stuff. They just, uh, they want to see uh, achievement. Venice Beach. These are some cool locales, actually. I'm pretty sure in free skate mode, we can just go to all of them. So let's just uh, start, whoops, at uh, Hangar, the Hangar in Mullet Park. So uh, here we go. Now, this game has a lot of early 2000s sort of skating slash stunt attitude. You know, it's like the punky soundtrack and stuff. The game really reminds me of, like, the Jackass, Matt Hoffman, Bam Margera era of media. Um, so here we are. We can jump and spin. And you basically have to do tricks. Oh, God. Oh, I think a bit of blood came off the back of his head. 
I think there are some power-up things that we can collect. Uh, maybe we should try and do that. Let's see if I can aim myself towards some of them. Oh, there's something there. Oh god, I fell on my back again. I wonder if the Nintendo version can have blood. Oh god. Alright. Oh god, I just burst through a bunch of barrels. Oh, onto a plane. Falling. Oh, I think I broke my nose, guys. Um, alright, I think we can just, uh, yeah, just straight up burst through that glass. I'm, I'm bleeding from a variety of cuts and stuff now. Oh, there's an airplane here! Who put a helicopter here? Oh god, right into more barrels. I feel like, uh, who, like, what is happening in the context of this game? I feel like Tony Hawk has broken into a warehouse, he's decided to do some stunts, and he's simultaneously doing some stunts. Oh god, but he's also like, first he's trashing the warehouse, and he's like getting severely injured. Like imagine this was a road trip, and Tony's here with like five other people, and he's like, just wait in the car guys, I got something I have to do. And uh, he goes into the warehouse, he breaks in, they're like, what is Tony doing? And then they're just all sitting in the car, and all they hear is like, BAM! SMASH! KABOOM! OH GOD! KABLAM! They're like, what is happening in there? And he comes out, he's all like bruised and bloodied. Broken glass everywhere and stuff. And he's like, they're like, did you rob that place? And he's like, no. No, <laughs> what I did is more complicated than what you would call a robbery. But uh, anyway, I think our stunts have been horrible. There is a way to, oh God. So I've just been using X to jump and O kind of makes you like grab the board. So I haven't been grinding or anything. There are ways to grind. We'll try and figure out some of these keys as we go here. But I'm guessing that was a subpar performance. It didn't unlock anything. Continue. Level goals. Spend some... Let's spend some money. Why not? I, I You know what? If, if I can't at least skate good like Tony Hawk, I can spend his money. If you put me in Tony Hawk's body for a day, I could help him spend his money. That's what I'm good on. Good at. Uh, let's buy some tricks. And that uh, means skateboarding tricks. We have zero dollars, though. So what, you just go in the store and you're like, I want to know how to grind, and they're like 50 bucks. And then like beam it in your brain matrix style. Okay, I strongly suspect career mode is not going to end well for us. So here, I have a, I have a second idea. Let's, uh, let's just go to free skate. All right, so our career was a bust. Our, our first uh, our inaugural performance at an abandoned warehouse didn't go that well, apparently. Um, I want to go into like a free skate mode. Oh wait, I, I selected single session, didn't I? I don't even want that, I want free skate. I want to go into free skate mode where I can basically just experiment with the moves, try things out, and you guys can imagine if I was in a career, the better I did, the farther I'd get. But since uh, I clearly have no career in skateboarding, um, you know, there's, there's really nothing to see or say. Um, all right, so we, we tried the hanger. Can we... Oh, no, we have to unlock these. Okay, well, I take it back. We're going back into career mode. Damn. So this wasn't super... I mean, this still isn't super uncommon to play a game and, like, have to unlock stuff, but I, I think it's, it's a little annoying when there's a, only a single, uh, you know, arena that you're allowed to use. Let's just continue our horrible career. It'd be nice to have like two or three different places that we could skate in, but I guess we're only allowed to skate in skate park. So whatever, we're gonna do it. We're gonna give it a shot. And I guess we'll just see how far we get. Now this game, so it came out on the PS1 first and it was ported to like Dreamcast, Windows, all this different stuff. It also had ports to the Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. And uh, I can show you these ports for just a second here. I hesitate to call these ports as much as I would call these, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, uh, loose translations. I mean, the Game Boy Advanced one on the right there is certainly the same game, just from a different perspective. But the one on the left there is really a different game. I don't think it's a port necessarily. Oh god. Oh, I was doing pretty good there. Um, so yeah, I... They, they look kind of interesting, but... <sighs> I don't know, uh, I don't know if I would call them necessarily like a port of this game. Like, if you wanted to play this game, would playing one of those Game Boy games really do it for you? 
Okay, hold on. Let's just experiment with some buttons here. Oh, there we go. That's how you... That's how you grind. Oh, but I bashed my face in. Okay. Hold on. So how do we... How do we get, like, that A? Like, that A up there. Oh, God! We just totally beefed it. Okay. Maybe I should just try and get some points. I think you need 6,000 to pass the level. So here, here's my, my thinking. If I just don't beef it every time, uh, I can totally get 6,000. Yeah, there you go. Sloppy, but acceptable. Oh, we have 7,000 points. Oh, and I did an Indy 180, and I took a nosedive. Are these really names of, like, like legitimate skating tricks? Oh, man, the Indy, like, the Indy Noseblade. Is that a thing? I have no idea. Oh, I did a kickflip. Kaboom! Another kickflip! Spin kick! Oh, you didn't think I had it in me, did you? 8,000 points! And now I'm just jumping around to find the laws of physics randomly. Oh, and I got two of five pile of wings. Boom. And I'm like standing like uh, at an angle defying the rules of gravity. Yeah, we, we made it to the high scoreboard. We might as well add our name to the ages. Boom. Jay made it. What do you mean retry? What do you mean retry? What, what, why do we have zero cash? What are the goals of this level? It's probably like collect all five pilot wingtips or something like that. I thought it was only get 6,000 points. High score is 10,000. Uh, oh, collect skate, collect five pilot wings. Oh my God. I was like all impressed that we got 8,000, but we really were like nowhere near where we needed to be. Oh my God, that just lost us 2,000. Okay, so clearly, the positioning of all these letters is supposed to like send you on a little journey. Okay, we have scat. Where is the E? Uh, that's actually a good question. Where, where is the E? Boom, 1600. Oh, we got a pilot wing. Oh God, <laughs> I don't know what to do there if like you take off from like a bad angle. I think you're just screwed. Um, is there, is the E hidden? Hold on, let's just do a little, uh, a little exploration here. There's, uh, oh, we missed the pile of wings. We can do this spin though, and this, oh god. 5,000 points. Three of five barrels. Oh god. I'm sure if you watch someone who actually knew what they were doing, they would just plow through getting, like, Every single bonus. Four or five barrels. Chop or hop. I don't see like barrels or anything. I've gotten four of the five barrels. Oh, there's the fifth barrel. Uh, they're kind of like in here. Maybe I can at least do this. What the? How do you get in there? Huh! Look at that. Like, doesn't let me in there. Hold on. There's gotta be a way in here. Okay, I'm doing a mute inverse. A mute invert. Didn't work out. Huh, I can't get in there. That is so crazy. Okay, they, I, I think I have to like grind my way along the rails or something. That Those last barrels, like I, I was looking at them. Just couldn't get near them. Hey, what the heck, we got money? Oh, we, we did collect skate. We earned 200 bucks. Save that career. Okay, career A. Sounds like a good career to me. Okay, so I guess what we need to do is try and get 10,000 points. I think that's where the money was. Yeah, total score is 6,000. Um, okay. So level goals, let's see here real quickly. I'm beginning to understand this game. It's slowly coming together for me. Oh, we only get 100 bucks. 25,000. So nose grind on the pipe. Find the secret tape. Man, it is so hard. I just thought you just need 10,000 points to move on to the next level. All right, so... We, uh... I guess we gotta, like, get everything and do everything. Boom, get that. 
Boom. All right, all right, all right. Oh, shoot, damn it. Oh, uh, we were kind of doing it. I almost ground my way into there. Oh, we did it. Okay, now we just need to find those other barrels. And the other ones were easy to find, I seem to recall. Oh, we got the two of five pilot wings. Oh, and I just sort of fell down for no reason. I don't think we're getting the 10,000 points, but collecting all these, like, collectibles is something that seems doable. All right, three of five pilot wings. I'm, like, falling down like an idiot. I don't care. Okay, there's one way up there. I don't know how we're supposed to get that one. Um, okay. I think this one up here. Hold on. Ooh, grind. Ooh, I don't know how to get this one. I think we have to like figure out a way to like grind or oh there we go there we go all right we are at like 3,000 points okay there were some pilot wings up here or something like this oh they're like way above at the top of the warehouse oh and there's like a secret tape up there man I, I'm like seeing things like I'm, I'm finally like noticing things in this game I'm like I have no idea how to get them. Oh, I forgot about the barrels. We should really just make sure we get those last barrels. Where are the last set? Boom, the barrel hunt is done. Oh, we almost got the pilot wings. Shoot, now we're stuck in the pipe. Okay, hold on, we can do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, come on, I was right there. I was right there. All right, well, it ain't happening. Kaboom. I feel like my tricks are becoming less crazy since I'm just trying to collect things. We got the barrel hunt. God, we're only at 350 bucks? We need a thousand to unlock the next level? Okay, well, we've tried the game on the PS1. I feel like, man, it, it would take me like another like half an hour or more just on the PS1 here to unlock the next level. Rather than going through all this trouble and unlock the next level, let's just hop to the N64 version and see either they will have the level unlocked or we will understand how to play this level a bit better. Maybe we'll be able to make a bit more progress. Either way, let's see what the N64 version of this game looks like. All right, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 on the N64. It's interesting how they're still playing the Rage Against the Machine song, but instead of like video of these guys skating, they're showing these sort of 3D N64 graphics. The graphics look significantly worse to me, I will say, than the PS1s, but this is just sort of the opening cutscene montage. It also like pauses awkwardly between, uh, between loading different montages. Um, I will say though that uh, I actually kind of prefer to see gameplay than the like live video i think when the ps1 was new people were very enthralled by the fact that it could display live video um so when a game had a loading screen it was like real video not you know gameplay footage people were like whoa but nowadays i feel like i'm like i want the actual gameplay video i i, I can watch real videos whenever i want i want the actual video uh gameplay video so we're gonna hop in here uh, once again, we're going to select Tony Hawk here. Um, yeah, it looks a little different. Again, it, things just look... I guess, actually, the Tony Hawk model looks a slightly higher polygon count. Like, things look a little smoother on him. But things also look a little blurred, and I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking at this with a super critical eye because we just, just tried the PlayStation 1 version. Oh, God. Okay, we can't unlock uh, anything else. Oh, you know what, though? I should be doing this in career mode since we do want to try and unlock... Uh, something. We'll see if we can. I'm I'm skeptical that this is gonna happen, guys. But if we can, oh, I guess this actually looks much more like the PS1 version. It's very similar. It's very similar, no matter how you cut it. All right, go ahead. We'll select Tony Hawk in style A. He is known for style A. So, oh, notice how the sexy girl, they changed her to a silhouette in uh, a Nintendo console. Yeah, they definitely, you know, Nintendo's a history of sort of censoring um, adult themes because, you know, they want to make things family friendly. So, fair enough. All right, we know where all the skates are. We know where the barrels are. The pilot wings, I feel like we saw most of them. It was just hard to, uh, hard to uh, get them. I, I don't know if we have the skills to earn a thousand bucks. That's a lot of money. I feel like they should 
they should be like, uh, you know, hey, you're new to this? You only have to earn like 50 bucks. If you can show up to the university with $50, we'll let you in. Uh, but I guess, I guess that's not how schools work these days. They want a thousand bucks tuition to let a tall man come and skate on their campuses. Um, alright. We can still burst through things. I'm having trouble hitting the barrels and stuff. Here we go. We're going for these pilot wings. Yo! Oh, we got them, too. I think I was in the wall there briefly. Um, I gotta say, like, I was expecting it to be a tougher call in terms of what looks better, the PS1 or the N64, but, like, I'm looking at this now, and I'm like, it kind of feels like a no-brain... Like, am I missing something? It kind of feels like a no-brainer to me that, uh... You know... Oh, God, get in there. Kind of feels like the PS1 is a no-brainer. Things look blurrier here. I mean, that that's the blur filter I was telling you guys about. Oh, God. We have to try and, like, get in there and get those barrels. <sighs> oh, we made it in. No, we fell out. Okay, hold on. We can do this. Oh, my God. He's just flip-flopping all over the place. My score is only 397. Okay, okay. Stay in there. Stay in there. What are you doing, Birdman? That last barrel set is, like, the hardest to get in the game. Oh, my God. He keeps... As soon as you... If you have, like, any... Any angle, any any sort of uh, curve to your jump, he just does, like, a, a styled jump. Anyway, we're kind of screwed. We didn't collect enough of anything. I don't think I got skate. I definitely didn't get all the barrels. We have seven seconds. Can we even make it to these other barrels? Four, three... Two. Oh god no! Oh god, how do you get in there? Hey, my skateboard just flew away. I just totally lost the skateboard. Did I spell skate? Did I do anything? I did not. I failed the barrel hunt. I spared to, failed to spell skate. Well, we will give this one more shot. But to be honest, I feel like like legit we've like tapped out our capacity for Tony Hawk here. Uh, yeah. This game does have a two-player mode. We saw that in both systems. But apparently... So this game had tons of remakes, as I said. It even came out on, like, Windows Phone and stuff eventually. Um, but it also had a remake or port or whatever you want to call it on the Xbox. And the Xbox version actually had LAN play. So you could play up to four Tony Hawks at once. And you guys could all be in an arena skating around. I actually don't know what that would be like I imagine what like what I would do what my personal strategy would be in a situation like that I can't even get these stupid barrels would be to go in and just try and screw with my friends like just try and like make sure they didn't get any tricks or anything I feel like that's what would be the most fun for me so oh God, I thought I was gonna go through the glass there so I, I feel like a four player Tony Hawk might be quite cool but I, you know, you know what else, else is also funny? I don't feel comfortable doing tricks in the N64 version. There, I just did a trick for you guys, just to show you I can. But it it just feels like I, I feel way less sure. Oh, face down! Oh, he would be dead in real life. I feel way less sure of myself uh, with the with this controller. Like I don't know what it is. Like I'm I, I'm actually I guess I'm having to learn all the buttons over again. Like how do you how do you grab onto? Is it trigger? How do you, like, uh, grind or whatever? Can't even figure it out. Um, yeah, anyway, the Xbox version sounds like it has something kind of interesting going on. Also, I apologize for sucking at this game. This game came out in, like, the dark era for me. Like, there was, okay, so back in the day... Oh, there's the E way up there. I'm never getting that. I'm never getting that. Um, back in the day... We'll try this one more time. Okay, back in the day, I, uh... I was super into console games when I was a kid, like Nintendo and all that stuff. Then as I like got into, I started to get a bit older, like high school and stuff, I really got into PC games, like StarCraft, Quake. I was like super into like playing games online and stuff. That's just like what I did with my time. And it got to a point where like literally, like I got rid of almost all my console stuff. Like I don't know where that stuff went as I aged, but I didn't have it. Um, and I kind of just thought, like, console games are not as good as PC games. And then, you know, we discovered Super Nintendo emulators and stuff in high school, and I thought, oh, well, there's no need to ever own a console again. 
Um, and so around that time, like, I really, I was not playing N64. Um, I played PS1 only at other people's houses. I never had one of my own. Um, you know, even the PS2, like, there were some games in the PS1 I quite liked, like Metal Gear Solid and stuff, but, like, I just was not interested in getting my own PS2. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this... This game, like, like pretty much every game on the N64, I missed. Didn't play GoldenEye, didn't play Mario 64, didn't play Tony Hawk, you know? So this is kind of like this dark period where, like, I just wasn't playing these games. So, yeah, I suck at this game. I fully recognize it, but it's because it's in a gaming blind, blind spot of mine, you know? Like, it, for, as much as I play... Oh, I got 50 bucks. As much as I play lots and lots of games, especially nowadays... Um, I didn't always, so... Hey, that's a bit of gaming J trivia for you. Get a bit of insight into my background, my history with games. Anyway, what do you guys think of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 here? Do not judge this game based on the gameplay you've seen in this video because it's horrible. And again, I personally apologize to you guys for having to witness it. Oh, we all... Oh, God! Those barrels! Those barrels are impossible, man. Those barrels are impossible. I'm just jumping in rage now. So we got, we unlocked one thing. I got 50 bucks or 150 bucks, 200 bucks. What does it take to get a thousand? Look at this. Like, look at all these things that I would have to do. 75,000 points doesn't even get you a thousand bucks. If you can get 75,000 points in this first level, can I just say you deserve to unlock the second level? Um, I think this is like the, like a like a fun classic sort of skateboarding game, but I've never sat down to play it. Now that I'm playing it, I think the unlock features are rather ridiculous. Like uh, maybe I'm just so bad, right? That it's like I'm I, I'm like so bad I'm below a novice. But I'm looking at this and I'm like, I would have to play this first level for a long time to get good enough. And I know probably people leave comments say, hey, just do this, this, and this. It's not that hard. But it's like, I don't know. If I rented this game, I would have been disappointed back in the day because I'm like, I want to try all those different levels. I want to see New York, but I can't. They don't want me to. I don't have enough money. I'm too poor to do all those things. So, yeah. Anyway, what do you guys think of Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 back uh, here? Were you better at it than me back in the day? Do you have lots of fond memories or tips? Do you have a preference for N64 versus PS1? Um, again, I know there's a bit of a debate online. I think I fall in the PS1 camp, having seen both. Uh, and, of course, I've said before, I'm just more comfortable naturally with a PS1 controller. I think the N64 controller always feels a bit weird to me. And I think, too, people who grew up with the N64 who haven't played it in, like, a decade, people have said to me when they go back and they, they put that controller in their hand, hand, it just feels weird nowadays, too. So it's like... You might have been used to it back in the day, but I think it genuinely is kind of a, a weird controller and the grand scheme of things and how controllers have evolved over the years. But anyway, anyway, share your thoughts on this game in the comments down below. And as always, whatever you think of my horrible, horrible gameplay, hopefully I've made today entertaining. You've learned something. You've laughed. If that is the case, don't forget to like the video and all this stuff. And I will be back soon with yet another game in our continuing journey to try all the games in the book, A Thousand One Video Games, Just Play Before You Die. And we're not going to save this career. We're just going to pretend this career didn't happen. All right, guys, until next time, peace.